is up chasing up New Year's Revolution in the cave not comfortable by any means sitting in a tight little spot here little spot uh, I, I had to do a regular video I, I can't keep banging away at the uh, the room remodel even though it's uh, it's coming along I haven't done anything today I just got out of work so we're gonna just do a regular kind of how you been video uh, let me adjust this. A couple of people who reached out for the uh, lunch boxes. I'll get them out to you. Um, I'm probably going to give you give away maybe six or seven more, eight to ten more. Who knows? <clears throat> I have to make some progress on the room each day, and you're gonna you're gonna be a little part of that right now. Um, as I've said, LJNs are going somewhere else. So this, these three shelves, these last three shelves that I'm going to use in this room, um, the majority is going to be wrestling, uh, but any any kind of holdovers can go here. But since the LJNs are getting moved to their own wall, uh, we'll be able to um, showcase, you know, some of the AWA figures, the Galoobs a little bit better, maybe the Bendies. I got to figure out a way to display Bendies. I wonder if they can go in some of the smaller doll stands. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but Bendy's, i got to figure out a way to, to show them off. They don't get a lot of love because they're so, you know, odd-sized. All right, uh, quickly, uh, first of all, Twilight Zone, the 80s series, is uh, incredible. It's, it's really great. Um, there are 13 discs, and I'm on disc 2 already. Uh, they're very easy to, to watch many episodes of. But it's kind of weird. Like, I didn't look it up, so I don't have facts. But I think this was an hour-long episode. Or an hour-long uh, show. Each episode was an hour long. But each episode is broken up into either two or three uh, shorts, right? So it took a little bit of navigating through the menu to figure that out. Because uh, if you just play episode one, it only plays the first episode of episode one. There's three or two, <laughs> depending. But when you have three, one of them is like eight minutes. So you get like a 22 minute or a 24 minute episode. You get like a 28 minute episode, sometimes a 32 minute episode. And then you get an eight minute one, 11 minute one. And so it's, I think when it aired during a one hour block, you got a few, you got multiple episodes. Again, if you didn't know that, you're going to skip right through, and you're only going to watch four episodes instead of, like, 14 or 12 or whatever, which is, you don't want to do that. But um, it's very good. I haven't seen the, uh, the original Twilight Zone in forever, or obviously we've all seen a few episodes here and there. Um, I do own that, too. I, I don't know how this compares to the, uh, you know, the one from the 50s or whatever. Um, obviously, I had no interest in the Jordan Peele Twilight Zone that came out um, recently. But this is so good, and um, it's full of, like, big-name celebrities. And, like I said, Bruce Willis was already in one. Melinda Dillon. Um, uh, who else? They don't really say in here, but... Um, Anyway, good stuff. Highly recommend. Uh, I got some movies in the mail today after my Christmas Amazon movie wish list was hit for a few items. I went in and got a few more. Uh, first of all, we've got the 4K steel book of Coming to America because it was reduced to $7.99. It's back up to $15 now. So Amazon put this on, the, on sale for $7.99. comes with a... Uh, Randy Watson poster. Uh, sexual chocolate, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, poster. But Coming to America is uh, a great movie. One of my favorite Eddie Murphy movies. Love this movie. And uh, now i got to get Boomerang. Boomerang and Coming to America are my two favorite Eddie Murphy movies. Um, but yeah, seven ninety nine for the Steelbook. Uh, this was 5 bucks on Amazon. Big. I don't know why I didn't have Big in my collection. But this is just something I'll grab. And watch with Liam, um, you know, show him this movie. He'll get a kick out of it. It was five bucks, so you get that. Then a couple of uh, 
couple of underrated horror movies, in my opinion. Arachnophobia was uh, like 11 bucks or so. Uh, I love I love infestation movies. I love ants, the movie Ants. You know, give me a good bees movie. Uh, I love the birds. Love the one I'm going to show you in a minute. Arachnophobia. It's I think it was orig uh, not originally, but I think it was you know potentially thought of as a comedy, or maybe even spun in a comedic light. But it's actually quite a terrifying movie especially if you don't like the spiders, as I sit next to the open crawl space door, sump pump door. The last one I got is a sleeper. I saw this for uh, probably 17 minutes on TBS when I was 12, and it got locked into my brain, and I'm about to see it again at 46. Ooh, man. 46. Uh, strays. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Timothy Busfield from 30-something. And uh, Lindsay Jarrett. Uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, Kathleen Quinlan from Twilight's Own the Movie. Uh, strays. They say cats have nine lives. Will one of them be yours? Whoa. Yeah, I remember. I hate, First of all, okay. My man, uh, Stephen Brown, earmuffs. Uh, I don't like cats. Um, because I'm terrified of them. I, I, I believe that they might be sent straight from the devil to scratch me. And um, I have nightmares about cats uh, clawing into my ankles and biting my ankles, and I can feel them. I truly have nightmares about cats l latching onto my wrists, and I'm trying to shake them off. I'm terrified of cats. I love all animals more than humans, trust me. I don't hate cats. I would never hurt an animal. But I, I'm terrified of them. I, you can't, I feel like you can't trust them. You know, you're petting them one moment, minute, and the next minute your eyeball's bleeding because they just went nuts on your face. So Strays is about killer cats. This couple in, uh, moves into an old farmhouse and look out Susie. Here come the cats. All right, so what I'm doing here is uh, this final shelf... I'm not going to call it the catch-all shelf, but it's going to it's going to store some less important stuff, and it's going to be the home of all of my paper products. And in fact, I'm going to take this opportunity now to show you guys some stuff you've probably never seen because it's always just been stacked in a pile somewhere on the bottom of a shelf, and that's where it's going to go again. But this time, I'm going to clean some stuff out. I'm going to pack some stuff away in the sump pump room, in a nice plastic stirlight tub with a lid of stuff I don't need. Um, so this, this magazine, Starlog, uh, I think, I don't know where I got it from, maybe as a gift from somebody um, to the channel. And it's cool. It's from, uh, oh well, E.T. comes on home video, so it must be, you know, 85, 86 or so. 88. Did E.T. make it to VHS in 88? So it's, I think it's more of a science fiction style of, uh, of magazine, kind of like your Fangoria deal. It's got that amazing ad in the back that we've all seen and remember. I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to leave it in the, I'm going to leave it in the shelf. Um, I've got a couple of mad magazines that I think I bought at, um, at a flea market for a buck. I'll keep those out. I should probably, like, have these available to read. Another Starlog. Another Starlog magazine. Um, we've got an old, a couple of old uh, Tomarts uh, toy magazines, right? That where, the, where the price guides were ridiculously overpriced, and I would get so excited. Oh, look at this. This is cool. They've got, uh, remember when uh, Toy Biz did TNA? How about that? I didn't even know this was in here. Uh, the TNA figure, Chase Stevens, James Mitchell, Eric Young, Sen Shi, who was once Loki. Right, is that his name? Loki? Not Loki, but Loki. Yeah, this is cool. This is 2007. You know, you can go back and look at some old adult collectibles from 2007. I dig that. Yeah, I'll keep this too. I like these. I'll go through them. We got those. Um, what do we got? 
Uh, we got a Fangoria cover. Yeah, so we got the magazine. All right, definitely you keep Fangoria. Uh, the covers come off of this one for some reason. Of course, it's a poster. But it's not the full poster, so I uh, Fangoria magazine, yeah, you gotta, you gotta hold on to that. Uh, a second one, then one called Toxic Horror. Sure, why not? Then we have a classic 80s Dynamite magazine. Absolutely adore this. So I'm gonna try not to bury these because I kind of wanna, I wanna go through these. Then we've got. Uh, now this is the stuff that's probably going to get packed away. This is a this is staying, but this is a little bit of a beat up catalog. Um, I don't know which one this is. Is there toys in it? Yeah, there's toys. So there's toys in this one. Um, I don't know the year on this. I think I went through this with you guys at some point. From the looks of it, this looks like '85. Uh, I don't know. Looks like 85. It doesn't have a cover anymore to tell me. So, you know, but you know what's fun about this? You know why there's no cover? Because Liam used to take these in his room. <laughs> not not for that reason. But he used to take these in his room. Um, and, and, and just, he'd keep them in his room because he would look at all the 80s toys. And then, as any kid would do, he would, you know, not turn the pages correctly and the cover would get ripped off. So this was at one point in time a nice put-together catalog that my my child destroyed. So that's the first thing. I'm going to throw that down in the box, in the bottom there. And then, uh, you know, you got some of these fun little wrestling things. These are staying out. But then I feel like, you know, I've got a My Little Pony book. I've got a Fraggle Rock book. I feel like these can get packed away. Like, these don't need to take up... I, I feel. Like, am I ever going to read these? I don't read anything. Uh, I don't know... I don't know. I'm having such a hard time. Like, I have, like, an Alyssa Milano weird teenage autobiography. Why, Why do I have that? Rocky vs. Clubber Lang. Uh, I have... I've got some Pound Puppies books. The Care Bears Help Santa. Alright. I, 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 again, I feel like these should go away. But then I feel like I can't. The Get Along Gang books, the Princess of Power books, uh, Barbie and the Rocker books. Okay. There's a ton of Teddy Ruxpin books in here. All right, so I'm not putting them away because I can't. Um, but I'm going to put them over here. So they're going in the shelf. Uh, my wrestling books, they're going in the shelf. I've got some weird card. You know, so it's, this is all stuff that like I haven't, I haven't pulled out a mask poster. I think that's from uh, when uh, when uh, I had the co-host. I think this hung on the wall. Um, man, my man Toby. I think I can't. Yeah, Toby, who I have not heard from in forever, um, drew me these uh, amazing. Figures. He was such a a fan of the channel back in the day, and I just have not heard from him in so long. I'm um, Toby Adkinson, I think his name was. Yeah, yeah, this stuff probably has to stay. We've got some old a 1982 uh, McDonald's calendar, a Gremlins sticker book. I can't put this stuff away. You you know that. This is cool. Dukes of Hazard coloring books. Love that. Yeah, those have to. And again, Pound Puppies, more color, a rainbow bright coloring book. All right, they'll stay. They have to stay, but they have to go. Like they have to get a little bit more organized on. I know that this is not like gripping television here. Um. A Cabbage Patch Kids hardcover book we'll keep. So basically we're keeping everything. Um, I don't need that. This is my... Yeah, I don't need this. This is like... Wife stuff. Oh, this this stuff I want to go over with you someday. These are all match, match listings uh, from WWF house shows in Rochester in the 80s. 
amazing story of how I stumbled upon these. We'll go over these someday. This awesome Pac-Man notebook that I've written in. I love I love keeping notebooks out. Yeah, I'm going to keep this out because I want to read it. Pac-Man folders from Gold Circle. 49 cent folders from Gold Circle. These stay right where they are. Uh, Return of the Jedi folder. Uh, so much good stuff that I just don't know what to do with. Alright, so we'll put the folders down here. Underneath the catalog. Uh, this is, I already have this issue, so I don't know why I have a second. I have a Jake the Snake Roberts autograph photo that somebody sent me. Um, that's awesome. But I just can't display this stuff. Like, it'll, it's just too much. Night Before Christmas, more G.I. Joe uh, comics that I already have. So we'll get rid of those. Some Elf comics, some Sectars comics. Um, some card backs that I don't think I'm going to keep out. Yeah, I'll put these away. Card backs, they just take up space. A Back to the Future hardcover book. My Dave Meltzer Tributes book. I don't know. I won it at a radio station, but it was signed by Dave Meltzer. I literally won it in the old days when you call a radio station and you're like, you know, caller number nine. A couple of uh, Mysteries of the Unknown, the Time Life series <laughs> books. Sure. Do I have them? Uh, we've all had this. We all know this book. This massively awesome, colorful wrestling book that most of us had some version of. This stays. I really don't like the plastic cover. It's ripping. Um, it looks like Jerry Lawler signed this. I don't know why. I didn't. I didn't have Jerry Lawler sign it, but he signed it apparently. Um, we'll put that in here. Another Sears catalog. This one from 1980, 1993. I don't know. Do I need this? 93. Sure. We'll keep that. And then some of my wife's sticker books. We're going to put those away. All right, so my my little rock and wrestling books, they stay out. And my Alyssa Milano autograph, or not autograph, autobiography. Mm, no, that goes away. Uh, my Fangoria's and my Mad Magazines, they stay out. They stay out, in fact, they get top billing. They go right on top. Because I actually want to read those. All right, so that's it. Uh, I pulled out a little pile of stuff that's going to get packed away, and I put uh, I put some. Uh, I'm telling you, this is like an extremely entertaining episode. But I wanted to do something with you, so those are in there. That's it. <laughs> They're in there. Um, Oh, wait, I've got some more books. Check this out. That's, that's my face up close. Uh, we've got the Family Ties book and the Whatever Happened to Pudding Pops. This was supposed to be my book. I was going to write this. I was going to write Whatever Happened to Friday, Friday Pizza Night or Friday Night Pizza or something like that, not knowing that this book existed. And then I got this book, Whatever Happened to Pudding Pops. So I think somebody beat me to it. But we'll keep that out, and I can't, in good faith, get rid of the Family Ties story book. So that's staying out on the shelf. And that's it. That's what I've done tonight. That's what I've done tonight, and you watched it. You watched about six minutes of it. I put those away. And that's the little pile that I'm getting rid of. All right, so that's it. That's the progress that I've made. Uh, zero, practically zero progress made today. Um, but that's okay. So, <laughs> don't forget now when I have the coffee table here, I'm going to bring some of those magazines out. 
line them up on the coffee table. And if the coffee table has a bottom on it, a bottom rack, a lot of the magazines are going in there too. So um, anyway, that, those are the movies that I got. Uh, Twilight Zone 85 is awesome. And I just put away some books. Good night now.